everyone it's raquel of raquel's caravan cuisine and today's recipe is going to be this delicious escovish fish jamaican style and this is a flavorful pickled sauce on top of crispy fried fish absolutely delicious so here i have two beautiful fresh red snapper they were clean at the market but you know you have to give them that thorough clean i'm just going to remove the tail and it spins making sure all the scales are removed and what i admire about this fish is that they are really fresh haven't yet touched the ice and you can know when they are fresh by the beautiful bright color and the clearness of the fish eyes So now I'm just going to wash these down with some limes just to remove that raw smell that comes with fish and limes do wonders. So now that these are nicely clean and each way over a pound, which is a bit too big to fry whole, I'm just going to cut them into pieces. Red snapper fish could be done in so many ways. It could be steamed, roasted, baked. It's just a really delicious fish and it's my favorite type of fish and i am a lover of fish give me fish any day all day so now i'm just gonna season this on some salt some black pepper some all-purpose seasoning i'm making sure to distribute the seasoning in every crevice and corner of this fish and you can use any seafood season you have just make sure to season it thoroughly you want it to be really flavorful so now i'm just going to make a few slices you know so that um the seasoning will be able to penetrate within i'm going to cover this and put it aside while i prepare the vegetables for the escovish sauce can't have an escovish pickle without scotch bonnet pepper and here i'm using my julian vegetable peeler which makes my life so much easier and i think i could get this on amazon for about five dollars and this makes the perfect julian strips in carrots In this pickle sauce, I'm also using some onion, some yellow, green, and red scotch bonnet pepper. And these vibrant colors makes a beautiful pickle sauce. I'm also using some garlic, bell peppers, pimenta peppers, which is the flavor boss, and some fresh thyme. So now that these are fully prepped, now it's time to fry the fish. So to a pot, I'm going to add some cooking oil and I'm going to allow that to heat up a bit. Now in with some garlic and fresh thyme to give the oil some flavor. Now in with the fish pieces. So I'm going to fry these about three minutes per side until they are all golden and crispy. So now that these are beautifully fried, I'm just going to remove them so they could drain the excess oil. Now in with the fish head, I left them for last and these are my favorite. So now that these fish are perfectly fried, so the same frying pot i'm going to remove all the cooking oil but you know the remnants of the fish flavor still remain now in with the garlic and onion and i'm going to saute this for a few seconds now in with the scotch bonnet peppers now i'm going to add some white vinegar and a bit of sugar to balance out the acidicness of the vinegar also some pimenta seeds for added flavor and these beautiful julienne carrots the sweet peppers and the fresh thyme and i'm going to give this about two minutes for the most i'm going to sprinkle a bit of salt and black pepper and you don't want to overcook these you want them to stay nice and crunchy and that's it escovish pickled sauce and this is smelling so delicious 
pickle sauce could serve on any meat kind just cool and store in a tight lid container in the refrigerator and have a long shelf life the vinegar helps as a preservative and the longer it stays the taste it gets i'm just going to pour this over the fish and don't forget this pickle juice and there you have it escovish fish jamaican style and what's best to go with this than some fried festival a link on how to prepare the festivals will be listed down below in the description box thank you so very much for watching